Gentlemen of the Pennsylvania Assembly, this rioting and murdering must cease. Those Indians were the remains of one of the six tribes settled at Conestaga and were present when the treaty was made with William Penn himself, which was to last as long as the sun should shine and the waters run in the rivers. There are some, I am ashamed to hear it, who are not bothered by the enormous wickedness of these actions. They say they are exasperated with the murder of some of their relations by enemy Indians, no doubt. But if an Indian injures me, does it follow that I must revenge that injury on all Indians? Indians are the same as white people. They have different languages and nations and tribes. If the French who are white should injure the Dutch, are the Dutch to revenge that on the English because they too are white? The only crime of these poor wretches seems to be that they had reddish brown skin and black hair and some people of that sort murdered some of our relations. Well now, if it's right to kill men for such reasons, then should any red-haired, freckled-faced man kill my wife or child, it would be equally right for me to kill all the red-haired, freckled-faced men, women, and children I should meet with. What had old Chief Shahaz done that he should be cut to pieces in his bed? What had babies at the breast done? that they should be shot and hatcheted and in their parents' arms. This is done by no civilized nation in Europe. Do we come to America to practice the manners of barbarians? Oh, oh, unhappy people. Unhappy people. To have lived in such times and by such neighbors. They would have been safe in the land of the ancient heathen, the Turk, the Saracen, the Moor. They would have been safe in any part of the known world, except the neighborhood of the white Christian savages of Lancaster County. And that's what I told them. <laughs>